Hey, it's Coach F here with College Promoters TN. Hope you're having an amazing day today. Today we're going to go through how to get recruited using the six steps, the F steps to get recruited. First step here that's really important for you is establish a game plan. What exactly is your game plan? You want to go into a game without having a game plan. Could you imagine the Patriots going into the football game and them having no plays, no idea of how they're going to win the game? Recruiting is the same way. Coaches aren't out there just scouring the internet looking through all these different databases. Instead, we have got to bring to their attention who you are and that you can play. So you've got to have a game plan. This isn't done just over the phone or anything like that. This is something that's very personal. You need to do this in person. One of the reasons I work with College Motors is we do this in person. That game plan is very personal. You have to figure out what your game plan will look like exactly. Number two, really important for us as well, is, is we've got to check our attitude at the door. We've got to make sure that we understand that we have to be humble, that we have to be servants, that we have to be coachable. One of the big steps for us here is that we have that bad attitude. We're going to have a problem during the recruiting process. If all you're worried about is how many followers you're going to get on Instagram, it's going to hurt you later on. Third thing here, really important in this course, is we got to make sure our academics are updated, they're available, and that they're respectable. You have to make sure that those grades, those academic pieces in good order. You can be a great player, have a great ability, but if you don't take care of that, you're going to be in a world of hurt later on. One of the big things we do is, is we choose and handpick those people that we work with here at College Motors as we look and make sure are they doing things well in the classroom because it's going to make a big impact in how much we can promote them out to different colleges. Fourth thing is the holy grail, which is film. You've got to make sure you have good film to be able to use to get out to coaches. Uh, one of the great pieces we have is a guy named Matt that does a great job in our home office with film and doing things with that. But it's a huge key for you in the recruiting process is that you make sure that you have that film available that you can get out to coaches. You can't just tell them you're good. You have to have that film to prove it. Fifth thing for us as we look at this is making sure that we are contacting coaches. Contacting them, making that connection, which will really help you to find that perfect fit. And that's the one thing that's really important for us this year is we want to find the fit that's good for your son or daughter when they go to college. And so how you do that is making sure you connect with the coach to really make that connection early, hopefully, so you can find out that that school is a good school for you, but so you find the right long-term fit for your son or daughter. So making sure that you make that contact with them. One of the things we have that's a huge, huge resource for us is our college directory. With every college coach in the country and one director, we can reach out to those coaches and help you reach out to those coaches so that you can make that contact, make that connection with the coaches as well. Also, I have to understand here, you have to have a mentality of not being a D1 or bus mentality. If that's all your thought is, then you're not going to reach out and see if there are other schools that might be a great fit for you long term versus just thinking about the short term thing of D1 or bus. Sixth thing is, think ahead. This is a long term decision, not a four year decision, but a 40 year decision. So there's a lot of things you have to consider about your experience that you're going to have long term. Number one, do they have your preferred major that's really going to impact things later on? Number two, are they also going to play time? A lot of times we go someplace because of a big name, but is it a place you're actually going to get to play at to give you the experiences that you want to have from college? And also, how is this degree going to play out in your family life later on? These are all things you need to think about and think ahead about. Not something you just need to talk about on the phone with somebody 1,800 miles away, but something you need to do in person with someone. And so that's one of the things we help you do and help your son or your daughter do is think ahead. What are some of the decisions that they need to be thinking about as they make this college choice and start looking through this process as they go through recruiting? Love to help you through this process, take you through these steps in person. If you're ever interested in talking with us about the recruiting process, getting your son or daughter recruited, let us know. We'd love to help you. Just reach out through social media. Love to meet with you in person, get to know your family, and help them reach their goal of playing in college. Hope you have a great day.